here at Laser Technologies, we do your traditional laser welding. Um, what we're finding is a lot of engineering doesn't have room for that short, the loss of eddy currents in the stacks. So they're getting away from laser welding, uh, TIG welding even on some of the bigger units and, and the MIG welding, unless absolutely necessary or it's built into the design. Uh, most designs now that we're seeing in aerospace, defense, small commercial motor, high frequency, uh, high alloy materials, uh, they don't want that short. An engineer doesn't want it short of any kind across the lamination stack. So we use bonding and we roll coat, we hand coat, and you can dip to apply bonding depending on your bonding material and what the media is. So there's epoxies, there's uh, water-based roll coated production bonding. Uh, there are several different ways to put bonding on. We do all of those. Uh, custom fixturing is all done in-house. Your fixture is made for your part. It's tagged. It's your fixture. When you buy it, you own it. So we can do that stuff over and over again for you. Uh, the other thing that the bonding is good for, and one of the reasons that bonding is used instead of a laser weld now, is bonding has an insulation value so it helps to isolate the laminations in the fields uh, it reduces harmonics by having a full face contact bond lamination to lamination rather than having a weld at the edge of the laminations and having that pillowing effect in your lamb stack so you reduce the harmonics you get a better fit into your fixtures you get a better fit into your unit when you're assembling it and it's easier for your assemblers to handle if you're doing a hand assembly because everything's stuck together. There are no loose edges or ends to peel apart. There are a lot of advantages to bonding. There are a lot of advantages to laser welding, whether you're doing a production, a one-off, or a small proof of concept run. We can go through those with you and give you our best advice, give you some options, give you some pricing and offer you some information to make an educated decision. So when it comes to building stacks, whether it's bonding or laser welding, TIG welding or MIG welding, or mechanical fastening, get hold of us and ask some questions. We'd be glad to answer them. In a, a laser welded stack, the laser weld creates a short across all of the laminations. So you've essentially connected all these laminations together. In in a bonded stack, you don't have any welds, so they're not connected together. Those are flat, they're held together, there's no harmonics, there's no vibration in that stack. That's facial to facial contact, and they're insulated from each other. So depending on what your application is, you could require something like this, or you could go with a lesser expensive option that's a little less labor intense and do a laser weld. It totally depends on your project. Either way, we can handle that. We build custom fixtures for each part. This is for a bonded part. They're pinned, they're screwed together, and when you put them in a fixture, you put these in the fixture, and then heat them up and it, the bonding agent is activated by heat and pressure so the pressure that's applied and the torque on the screws will squeeze it together and the heat activates the agent so it's what they call a, a class B when it's applied it's a class B bonding agent and once you heat it and you cure it it's a class C bonding agent and it's cured and effectively glued or epoxied together. If you're using an epoxy process, we hand apply that because it's efficient, it's effective, and we cover 100% of the part that way. We don't depend on gravity or something like a fluidizing process where you're hoping that the material gets to the center of the lamination stack. We make sure it's on the lamination 
100% by hand. So we do that on a, a large table with a roller. Each individual lamb is touched by a human so they get a second inspection process. So these are getting looked at again. Uh, there are a lot of advantages to this and fail safes. Some of the fixturing, different shapes, different sizes, whether it's round laminations, transformer laminations, square laminations, segment laminations, we can stack them up. We'll keep the fixturing here for you and we've got it for the next round. All of that's done in, in a highly technical piece of equipment. Basically it's an oven and it's watched by a technician for temperature and time. The temperature and time and pressure are the three critical components here. So there aren't a, lo a lot of moving parts to this, but the few that they are, highly critical to getting a good part. And we've been doing this for, I've been here 10 years, we've been doing it for 10 years, probably 15 is more like what we've effectively been in the, the bonding business for. So a lot of experience, we've got a lot of knowledge and we're learning all the time. So everything that we get sent that's a new project or a cutting edge project or something thinner or different material is a new challenge and, and we love to learn with our customers and we do that all the time.